everyone, this is Ayana from Shundahai Farm and today I'm going to be showing you guys my salsa roja recipe and it's really simple and really quick and we really like it so today I'm going to actually be tripling the recipe because I'm going to be freezing some and first of all I'm just going to show you what ingredients I'm using so First of all, I'm using tomatoes, and it doesn't really matter what type of tomato you use, but um, the romas, if you want it to be thicker, use roma tomatoes. Okay, second ingredient I'm going to be using is jalapenos, um, and if you don't want it to be spicy at all, don't add any jalapenos. Um, you could use sweet peppers instead. Now, if you want it to be spicy but not too spicy, add the jalapenos but don't add the seeds. And then if you want it to be more spicy, add the seeds and that makes it even more spicy. Second, I'm going to be using an onion, I mean third. And then lastly, I'm using some cilantro. So, I am doubling this recipe. So, if you don't want to double this recipe and just like see how you like it, here is the how much you need. So you need three tomatoes, one jalapeno, a quarter onion, and a quarter bunch of cilantro. So yeah, so let's get into the video. Okay. So first of all, I'm going to be cutting the tomatoes. Um, and I'm not going to be cutting them in small pieces. I'm just going to, I'm using second tomatoes. So I'm just going to be cutting off any bad spots on the tomatoes. And then just like cutting them in half, um, I'll show you, I'll show you how I cut them. Just because we're gonna blend them, so they don't have to be really small, but just so that they can be blended. So I'm just gonna cut off the tops and the bad spots, and then just like cut them. Like I'll just cut the romas in like half. Without the regular tomatoes, I'll do like quarters. I guess I'll quarter them. So um, yeah, so just cut your tomatoes. Okay, so now I've cut my, all, all my tomatoes up and in pretty big pieces. Um, so now I am just going to be cutting my jalapenos up. So I'm just going to cut off the tops, then just slice them in half. And if you want to keep the seeds, that's all you have to do. If not, just take out the seeds. I think I'm going to take out the seeds this time, but it's really your choice just to dip, just it depends on how spicy you want to do it. So I'll meet you when I cut up the jalapenos. Okay, so now I've cut, and up, cut up all my tomatoes and all of my jalapenos. So now I'm gonna add this to the blender. Um, I'm not gonna add everything at the same time because I'll burn out the blender. But I'm just going to add a few at a time and blend it all up. Okay, now I've blended up all of the tomatoes and jalapenos. So now I'm going to add them to a lightly oiled pan. I just added some olive oil to this pan and I put it on medium. So I'm just going to put this in this pan. Okay. Here we are, and then I'm just going to wait for this to boil, and not for a long time, and when it starts boiling, I'm just going to turn it off right away. Just when you start seeing it get bubbly, I'm going to turn it off. So, yeah. Okay, so now I'm just going to cut my onion up, peel it, and just cut it into small cubes. Okay, so I turned this off because it got bubbly, so it's just started boiling and I just turned it off right away. Okay, now I am going to cut up the cilantro um, and just cut it in little pieces. Okay, now I have cut up all my cilantro and onions and I'm just going to add them to this mixture after it was boiled. Okay, so I'm just gonna add them all in. Okay. 
Okay. And now I am just going to gently stir this together. Just stir it so that it's really well combined. Okay, so here this is, and lastly, I am just going to add some salt. Okay, so here's my salt, it really just depends on how much salt you want. I'm just going to add like a few pinches of it, but it just depends on how much, how salty you like things. Um... And then once you've added the salt that you want, just stir it and you can taste it to see if you want to add anything else. And then you're pretty much done. All I'm going to do is you can transfer it to whatever you want to store it in. Um, I'm just going to put it in jars so that I can freeze it. And then that's it. Here you go. You've made it and I hope you enjoy it. Okay, so now I've transferred it into jars, and here's how it looks. I'm just going to freeze this, but so I tripled the recipe, and it really doesn't make that much. It makes a quart, so I personally would recommend if you want to store it or, like, have a big gathering and make this, I would personally make, recommend making more than the recipe calls for, but this is just how much I made by tripling the recipe and just once again here is the recipe not tripled so there you go and here is the salsa and i hope you enjoy it we really like it and yeah have a great day